Hey guys, welcome back to the big board. Here uh, it's on the, uh, I think we're on the 12th of August. And in this hex here, we, you know, we're crossing an escarpment this way. And uh, I don't think it's that way. Maybe it is. Oh, my tweezers. Anyway, uh, the point I wanted to make was that we're trying to sucker the British while playing solo. Yeah, it's not an escarpment hex. Hex side on that. Uh, that side but it is here so I've been trying to you know get through either here across these two sand dune uh, slope hexes or here uh, to try and encircle these forces and of course one of the problems is I've only really had enough supply to, to really make one real substantial attack and uh, per, per turn or, or per uh, series of uh, combats and so this time I've kind of held off and waited three turns to accumulate some supply and what I've done is uh, no hip, sh hip shots uh, to give away my intentions and uh, really focused on just uh, regular barrage in the movement phase and then uh, of course the air, com the air delivery uh, in the combat in the movement phase as well. Um, actually the field artillery happens, just happens, so we're, we're fine. Uh, the field artillery does not happen in the movement phase, so don't freak out. I'm not doing it wrong. Uh, so we DG'd this hex. We DG'd this hex. We attempted to uh, DG uh, this hex as well. So we're trying to spread the risk around. And uh, because of the success of these two attacks, uh, the reserves here elected to release and put uh, reinforcements in here and here in the reaction phase. And so that allows... Uh, uh, you know, it kind of makes it a little bit harder for the Germans, but nevertheless, we are now going to uh, um, go ahead and do our combat, and our combat is happening here. We just we've already fired our uh, artillery barrages into this hex and actually inflicted a step loss and we killed a fortress unit. And underneath there, there is a full brigade and a small. Uh, either a two or a three factor armored car unit which has an anti-armor capability. Now because I'm coming across the uh, escarpment hex side here, uh, the Commonwealth are in a really good defensive position and in the hedgehog. But, uh, so we're attacking across here, but here is not uh, quartered or, or halved as these units are. So this is my primary objective for this turn. This is, uh, this is not even secondary, I'm not even attacking here this turn. I really don't have the factors. Uh, built up, it may look like I do, and I've got units in reserve to pounce this way, but the goal, the prize is here. Uh, I hope to be able to fuel these guys up, and all I really want to do is powerhouse to here, and uh, and then uh, see what I can do uh, from there, and just create a little pocket here, and that will uh, either force these guys to retreat, or uh, for them to collapse and counterattack on on my forces and let them bleed on me versus the other way around. And uh, that is all I'm going to share with you now. We'll come back after we do the combat if you would like. In fact, why don't I, uh, why don't I just run you guys through the combat? That might be interesting. We'll move the camera and all that sort of stuff and you can uh, follow along. We'll see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's run through this little, little guide real quick. The attacker has uh, 12, and uh, another 4, and another 5, and, uh, sorry, this is 4, yeah, 4, 12, 5, and this is 8, and this is 3, and I'm just using the proportional rule, I'm not, uh, there's some other formula, but it just all works out the same. This is 3, but it's doubled, uh, it would normally be doubled on attack, however, uh, because we have this armored car unit with the red uh, icon in here, uh, that is going to mitigate that and make it uh, times one and a half. So we're going to have uh, those factors there and on the defense these guys will be halved, these guys are not halved, and we're going to add one to our AR which will just basically make it a wash. So we're DG'd but we'd add one back so we're going to keep it regular. Now the good news is because the Commonwealth did move their uh, reinforcements in, they can use uh, this little guy who's not replaceable, in fact, 
Yeah, I'll probably use this guy. That's an important attack. Uh, so they'll take the unit from the seventh and use him as the uh, primary lead action rating unit. So these guys have six uh, full factors, and then three, and then one and a half. So that's four and a half. That means they have total 10 and a half factors attacking. And here, oh, what did I say I had? So we got uh, 12 and four, 16. That's uh, um, 21 and uh, 22, 23, 24, 25 and a half. This is 25 and a half plus eight is 33. And we're using the five factor. And they're using the four factor. All right, so now what we're gonna do is let's roll for surprise. And I'm gonna roll two dice. And I always roll three and just the, the blue die is the, uh, the shifts. Ah, crap, okay, so. That is a really bad roll for the Germans. Uh, they rolled two, and uh, it's gonna be minus three shifts. So uh, the defenders have surprise. So they're gonna to get to take uh, minus three column shifts. So that's really gonna bugger up this attack. It's gonna get ugly really, really, really quickly. And we are gonna be looking at a uh, three to one attack with a plus one uh, on the die roll uh, for the difference in the AR ratings between the two uh, combatant forces. And uh, three to one column, uh, I'm gonna have to flip the camera, so the chart underneath the camera. Three to one in, uh, let's see, three to one in the open. Minus three columns, one, two, three. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, then we're gonna roll. We need a, we need a really good roll here. And, uh, well, it could have been worse. It's nine, which becomes a 10 on the, what did I say? The one, two, three, on the one to two column. AO1, DO1. Okay, the defender's gonna take a step loss. They're not moving out of the hex. These guys have to lose uh, from their unit and we are at a dead stop. Now I've got to pay a uh, supply cost, of course, for this, and it's 2T for the Defender, and uh, a bunch for these guys. Uh, it's gonna be uh, three, four, five, seven, eight T. So that's two SP for that attack. I'm gonna pull those off over here from headquarters. And that was an unmitigated disaster for the Germans. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that uh, almost as much as I did.